Well, the recent discovery of a new planet orbiting our sun has attracted a lot of attention. Planet 9 is believed to be orbiting on the fringes of our solar system. Now, we can't see it, but the planet has been detected through its own gravitational pull. And one question so many people are asking right now, how did we miss it until now? Well, two scientists at Caltech were able to work out the path that this giant takes around the sun. One of them is Constantine Batigin. He joins us now from Pasadena, California, in his backyard, I'm going to point out. <laughs> and Constantine, I have to say, first of all, congratulations. You're only 29 years old. But if this is confirmed, you'll have already made a significant contribution to our understanding of the universe. Uh, is it that daunting to hear for you? Uh, you know, I, I try not to think about it too much. I'm just, uh, I'm actually really excited about the next part of the project, which is the astronomical search for, for Planet Nine. We have, uh, you know, released the prediction of the orbit, uh, which, you know, in effect is, is what, what we worked out using our, our mathematical modeling. Um, I really want to know what it looks like. I want to catch it on camera. Well, and that's the interesting part of the story, because uh, this still needs confirmation, what you are putting out there. We haven't actually physically seen this ninth planet yet, but you and your colleague, uh, you found clues that point to the existence of this planet. Explain that to our audience. Uh, right. So, you know, if you if you sort of get in a spaceship and uh, and fly away from the solar system uh, and sort of hover above the solar system, uh, what you'll note is that uh, as you zoom out, the orbits of the so-called Kuiper Belt, so this, this distant field of icy debris, they all begin to sort of point in the same overall direction and they all kind of begin to lie in the same plane. So whereas the, I would say the, the orbits of the Kuiper Belt where, uh, you know, the part of the Kuiper Belt that Pluto is a, is a member of kind of is uniformly distributed. I mean, it looks more or less like a, like a squished donut. Um, the, the out, outermost orbits are really pointing in the same direction. That's a, that, and that's a cosmic one-way sign, if you will, that, that there's some gravitational effect which is keeping all of those orbits com confined. As our modeling shows, the only reasonable explanation for that is the existence of, a, of an additional giant planet in the solar system. And using the properties of the orbits, we can actually deduce what the orbit of our distant planet is and what its mass is. So the clues that point to a planet without physically seeing the planet quite yet. Uh, I wonder about the two Voyager satellites. They've already gone beyond, or the probes rather, they've both already gone beyond Pluto. Might they be of use in trying to find this ninth planet? No, no, I, uh, I think they're actually headed off in the wrong direction. Uh, even if we were, you know, even if they were by chance kind of, you know, um, sort of you, you you could imagine that they would they would uh do a flyby but but no they're they're headed in the wrong direction uh i guess you know one thing i i could say however is that um this is you know this is not the first time that a planet in the solar system has been discovered through mathematical modeling and just looking at its gravitational effects in fact neptune was predicted using using very similar techniques, of course, without computers, just with lots and lots of paper. Um, so, you know, we, we feel uh, we feel pretty confident uh, about this. You know, uh, I think I think there's a there's a good um, stimulus to to you know participate in the hunt in the astronomical hunt now. So how do you go about hunting for this ninth planet then? Where do you go from here? Well, uh, we the, there's sort of a few telescopes that that are uh, perfectly suited for this uh, one of them is the Subaru telescope uh, in Hawaii which is the Japanese National Observatory and basically you know once you have the orbit and we, we believe that the planet resides in sort of the outer third of, of its orbit then you just start mapping out the sky that all sounds amazing, Constantine. And even though you don't want to think about it, at 29, you are making a huge contribution to science. So thank you very much. Well, thank you very much. I'm flattered. <laughs> and that is Constantine Batijin. He is a planetary scientist at Caltech, and he joined us from Pasadena, California.